Hey, what's up, Elena Territos? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are King Charles and Camilla, you back to making dumb decisions. You plan on sitting Harry and Meghan down and telling them they don't have any titles. Y'all, let's get into this list. Of we saw this coming. If there's one thing here, uh, Prince Charles does, well, King Charles and Camilla do, they float what they plan to do first. And then once people are like, huh, 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 then they end up doing it. They've done it time and time again. They floated this, I think when Sussex first happened, uh, when Meg and Harry were first kicked out of the royal fold, they literally were like, oh, you know what? There's no point in them having titles. We already told them their kids aren't gonna have titles, but how's it gonna look if your kids don't have titles, but you do? I don't, it was just nonsensical, right? And a lot of people said the same thing I did. What the hell are y'all talking about? Go feed your little horsey, some bean, some curds and oat whey out of here, right? However, it looks like now that the queen is not around to protect Harry and Meghan and to protect the Sussex titles, it looks like Charles has no problem at all taking them away. Baby, and here's the thing, I knew this was gonna happen, but I was really thinking when it was supposed to happen. They knew that they couldn't do it while the queen was there because regardless of what happened, the Queen 100% didn't want to take away Harry and Meghan's titles. We'll talk about that in a second. But two, now that they don't have the, pre the protection of the Queen, the coronation's coming. And with the coronation coming, you can't do anything that makes you look like a monster. So what are you doing? You're now with the, with, you were planning on doing this after the coronation. However, as you guys know, whether y'all love it or hate it, spare, what's up Sussex Squad, by the way? <laughs> I forgot my, hey, what's up, everybody? What's up, Sussex Squad? Anyway, um, you know, they were planning on doing it uh, after the coronation. But now that Spare's been released and love it or hate it, baby, it's doing numbers. You might find it boring. You not might like it. I love my, listen, this is a great book. Is it curing, uh, 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 giving us the answers to cold fusion? Absolutely not. Is it a great book to read? Yes, indeed. Whether you're on the beach and you want to put on a candle and read in a tub and practice some self-care. But with the Sussex books dropping, it put them in a weird predicament. Harry declared war. So in order to mitigate any damage about whether they come or not, they are seriously considering cutting them off now. So by the time the coronation comes, nobody will be like, oh my God, Harry and Meghan won't make it. And they've literally killed two birds with one stone. You guys, let's get into this because woo, it's a dumb idea. First of all, I know that's Harry's name, his birthright, all this stuff. Y'all know how I feel. That morning he can go to H-E double hockey sticks, right? Abolish it all but they are doing him a favor. The monarchy has lost its luster. It's lost its shine since the queen left. Maybe when George is older, if it even survives that long, he can bring the luster back to the monarchy, but William's not gonna be doing it. Charles isn't gonna do it. Camilla's not gonna be doing it. You're better being separated from it. You really are. Also, if you really truly believe you're ordained by God, I mean, what does it really mean? I mean, it's weird because if you honestly believe that you're ordained by blood, nobody can take the title away because the blood of Christ flows through you. But also, and this is where Charles and William always get it wrong. Camilla too, put that horsey up there. Uh, put the who's on the glass. And well, Kate, but Kate has different alternatives. She just wants to be the prettiest, best dressed, most interesting. We already know she already lost when she woke up, right? But all jokes aside, if you, prove to the legislation that this is not ordained by God, that this is something that man can take away. I mean, we all know it, but they hide behind legislative of like, no man shall put this under. If you show that titles can just be snatched back when you're not happy with people, then what happens when they're not happy with you? What happens when they don't like the new king? What happens when they don't like the next heir to the throne? See, they're always playing the short game with Harry and Meghan because they want them to lose and they're so arrogant that they don't believe that their methods can be used against them. But Harry and Meghan keep proving the same methods you used against me, I will use against you. And baby, I know what I'm doing and I'm gonna win. Let's get in to this feeble-minded approach to how they're gonna do this. 
There's a very real possibility that the Sussex will be stripped of their title, says a royal force, uh, royal source. This is why Harry goes by Harry and not Prince Mar- Harry. This is why Meghan goes by just Meghan and not Meghan the Duchess of Sussex. This is why Lilibeth and Archie Fine, they have already been canonized. As much as the royal family doesn't want us to talk about them, we still talk about Wallace Simpson. And Meghan is no Wallace Simpson. Wallace Simpson was a sympathizer, right? They weren't good people. Meghan is not Wallace Simpson. What I am saying with this is, they've already been canonized in history. Between the documentary and this book, generations upon generations are going to remember them just like they remember Diana. You're only hurting yourselves by doing this. Also, Harry and Meghan have 100% pre- uh, uh, prepared for this role. And just like when they pull away his military um, patroness, Harry was sitting there saying, all right, you got that one. That that hurt. You got that one. But he's had time to meet peace with it. And now he knows that he can still do the things to give him value without that title. Mm. They say the royals haven't officially responded to the many, many, many claims in Prince Harry's best-selling memoir, Spare, but apparently they could take a major swipe at the Sussex by stripping them of their titles. A royal source told Us Weekly, there's a very real decision to be made, of course, with respect to whether or not the Sussex get to keep their titles. Imagine letting Andrew keep his titles and bringing him back into the royal fold, but taking Harry and Meghan's. These people are so stupid. Let this house burn. The way the strike back would be to approve a measure where be Harry and Meghan are stripped of their titles. That's a very real possibility. Certainly if the toxicity doesn't eventually subside, Baby, please. That said, there's also a strong belief amongst the royals, this must be the thinking half, that the best form of getting even or negating the Sussex is to continue to ignore them and not feed into their drama and and incessant attention seeking. Okay, there is no thinking hand. Harry has blasted you guys, ethered you guys, and he has another book coming. Are you serious? Do you ignore people? when you don't want them to get press you ignore people when you think it's a you don't ignore people when they literally called you to the carpet and they have more eyes it is anyway let me not get them any pr they say harry and megan were made were named the duke and duchess of sussex on may 19 2018. they say um now, when they were first made royals, they said they put out the statement that the Queen has today been pleased to confer the dukedom of Prince Henry of Wales. His titles will be the Duke of Sussex, Earl of Dumbertron, and Baron Kilka. Okay, Prince Harry thus becomes His Royal Highness the Duke of Sussex, and Mrs. Meghan Markle on marriage will become Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Sussex. Okay, so anyway, um... Anderson Cooper did ask Prince Harry why he and Meghan hadn't voluntarily given up their titles. I didn't give up my name either. I understand when people being like, if you don't like it, then just leave. That's the same as people saying, if you don't like America, just leave. Leave what? This is my home. You leave. You leave. The fact that people, and what shocks me is black people even sit there and say, or people that aren't white British people be like, if you don't like it, give the title back. So if I don't like your abuse, gaslighting, manipulation, and all that stuff, then I can give my title back? Are you dumb? Are you stupid? Does it look, it's not clicky. Yo, everybody in there got baby brain. We won't call them baby brain royals. Like what's not clicking? Why, after being bullied, harassed, beat up, and maligned, would I give up the title? See, here's the thing that people don't see. Harry, at least I see, you guys are not fit to rule, even from a PR angle. I don't hope, believe in the whole blood of Christ. Act, but if you want to have a royal family, fine. But part of being the royal family is showing the best of us, leading by example, actually helping, even if it's purely um, ceremonial, even if it's purely ceremonial. The fact that you got the nerve when I say you guys are doing this wrong to tell me if I don't like it, I can leave. Sir, I don't know who you're talking to. You can leave because just like you, my blood runs blue. Get out of here. Ain't nobody leaving. And I agree with that. Why would you give up something that is yours by birthright? Now, it is BS. 
but we are talking to two people holding the same BS title. I wouldn't leave anyway. All right. So anyway, um, so Anderson Cooper said, why not renounce your titles as Duke and Duchess? In response, Harry shot back. And what difference would that make? They're still going to malign. They're still going to do this. Why would I give them the one thing of power that they think they have over me? What is this? You guys think because you saw the British royals for how long cut off their nose to spite their face that I'm going to do the same thing? That I'm going to cut off my nose and give back the only thing that gets under your skin and my birthright just to stick it to you? No, that, that's not. That's not the way it goes. The way it goes is by keeping my birthright, having a beautiful wife, becoming a millionaire, having the best selling book of and not the fastest selling book in nonfiction in history and the best selling royal biography by far, rubbing in your face, having a Netflix documentary and proving to you that even though y'all thought, right, that I was nothing, the last shall be first. And baby, you looking at number one. Y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I think the royals are tripping. I think that again, let me be where I stand. The royals are trash. And that whole system needs to be abolished. That's why I'm glad Harry and Meghan are making their own money. If Harry and Meghan choose to go back into that system, they're trash too for being in that system. Again, my ideal doesn't align with people. It aligns with my principles. And as long as you're in line with my principles, I'll support you. But the minute you step out of line, uh-uh. You have separated you, but shine light on this trash, trash system. They are a tool to dismantle it. Between Harry and Meghan and the way they're being treated and the royals, abolish, right? But I don't understand how any thinking person from the outside looking in could see what's happening and side with a racist institution that don't even like you in the first place and ain't never going to accept you and they don't even think you're fit to be a servant in their palace. Y'all, listen, abolish that mess. Harry, thank you so much. And whether they, and listen, a part of me kind of do want to, to see what happens when they take the titles away because I know Harry is going to burn that mofo down. So you know what? You see how when you flesh ideas out, they come full circle. Let's see what happens if they do take away these titles. Woo! They thought London Bridge was falling down. Baby, that palace is going to be burned, baby burn. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments and I will talk to you later.